I'm with Pittsburgh Steelers tight end Zach Gentry. Zach, what's going on? Not a whole lot. Just just getting by, working out, and, and having some meetings. How you doing? I'm great. How about you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on. For sure. Thanks for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. So you were drafted in the fifth round just last year. This has been your rookie year. What is the highlight? Like, I know you've probably been dreaming about this since you were a little kid. What was the highlight for you last year? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Just playing in some regular season games, I think, was, was the biggest thing for me. And one of the, like, biggest things that I remember um, kind of being my NFL moment, if you will, was uh, blocking Carlos Dunlap. Um, I think it was just like the fourth, third or fourth week of the season, but I had a really good block on Carlos Dunlap that kind of sealed the edge. We picked up a nice first down, and I remember as I was blocking him thinking like, dang, like I used to watch this guy on TV a lot because I, I grew up a huge Florida fan like in a Tebow era. Right. So I remember when I was blocking him, I was like, wow, this is wild. Like I was a sixth grader when I was watching this guy. So that was a cool moment for me. That sounds like a really cool moment. Uh, talk about just the difference, because I know that you used to be a quarterback. They say the tight end is like the best athlete on the field, uh, definitely the most agile. And what was it like growing up? And you mentioned that Tebow air. I'm sure idolizing him a little bit and looking up to him as a quarterback. But then you have that moment with Carlos Dunlap where you're doing a whole new skill set. I mean, what was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, when I was watching him, um, you know, when I was when I was younger, I, I was a quarterback. And so I guess when I envisioned myself as a professional athlete, I thought that maybe I would see Carlos Dunlap on the field, but he would be, you know, hitting me in the pocket or something. Not that okay. I would be, you know, fire enough to hit him on like an outside zone play. So, uh, yeah, that was a – it was a different kind of meeting. It's kind of funny. It's funny how things change, how life kind of – there's your little curveball every once in a while. No doubt. <laughs> so you're recruited by Michigan as a QB. You transitioned to tight end. Did you ever think about making a switch to a different school to continue playing QB? Yeah, I did, actually. I mean, I I was not all about the, the switch at all at first. Really? I, uh, you know, quarterback was like the only position I grew, I grew up playing, so um, – yeah, I definitely was not excited about it. I, I tried to transfer, and, and, you know, Coach Harbaugh kind of sat me down a, a bunch of times, really, and, and called me a bunch and kind of reiterated, like, hey, like, you got to trust me with your ability and your body type and all that. And, I, you know, I trusted him with that. I was a little wary, but it ended up working out. But I, I definitely, for sure, in my mind, had a thought that I was going to transfer at one point. Well, it sounds like you're really committed to just Michigan in general, just like going through the process and sticking it out. What was that transition like, though? I mean, going from having, you know, a red jersey to a target on your back in practice and just like being in a totally different position, literally. I mean, it was tough. It was tough. I mean, especially at first when you really don't know what you're doing, but you're going up against like the first team defense and scout or something. They're just like ragdolling you around, you know, and you're just, you know, or you just really don't know. And you're like, okay, well, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Um, yeah. So it took a couple of years, I mean, just to learn, especially the little details of it. And really my um, sophomore season, the coaches had me play nothing but receiver just so that I could get the plays down, get the feel for like running routes, coming in and out of my breaks. So I think that helped me a lot. And then as that progressed, kind of my footwork in the blocking game progressed, and I was able to come become more of a complete tight end. So I have a question that's a little off the cuff here. Uh, but do you have any other talents besides football? I ask this because I'm thinking, like, what would your Michigan teammates not know about you? Ooh, not know about me. Oh, man, I don't know. I was a pretty open book. Are you um, open book? <laughs> Uh, okay, well then what's your, guess, what's your hidden talent? I mean, I don't know if it's hidden, but I, I was a really good basketball player growing up. I, I thought that that was going to be kind of my calling. I was good. At, I was really good at football too. Like as a kid growing up, I was, you know, you can shoot, you can shoot baskets and play basketball a lot more than you can put the pads on and go hit other kids. So I was constantly shooting hoops and, you know, played it throughout my whole childhood. So I, I was ended up being really good at basketball. So I thought that was where I was going to go. But other than that, I mean, I have no, I'm not artistic. I can't sing. I guess I cook pretty well, but I don't have anything like hidden, I don't think. Wait, you can sing or you can't? Oh, I cannot. 
Okay, and I don't think I've never really tried, but I, I can't. I don't think I can. I mean, but you would know, like, if people are like, "Oh wow, Zach!" Like in church, like you're a really good singer, or like, "Oh wow, you're in the car!" Like you know, if you're a good singer. Oh, and absolutely not. <laughs> you can't dance either. I mean, I'm all right. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's a question for you. I know you're from, well, you have roots in West Texas, as do I. Um, are you really a country guy or are you a city guy? Like, what would your family say about you? Because they know you the best. Oh, country 100%. Okay, like how country are we talking? Well, I mean, like, so just in general, I was, so like my family has a ranch in northern New Mexico you know, like you said, the roots in, in West Texas, and then we're a big outdoors family, you know, we do a lot of hunting and fishing, and we enjoy past the time with that, but I was also raised on just, like, nothing but country music, like, listening to, like, since I was a little guy, and so I just grew up just kind of embracing that lifestyle. So, your pregame warm-up, then what's on your playlist? Like, you still do country? Yeah, I mean, I do, I do country, I do rock, um, very selective rap it just depends it a lot of it i like to listen to is just something that's going to either get me fired up or get me like pretty mad you know yeah as long like as it's kind of high energy yeah some of the country songs might be a little too sentimental for that yeah for sure <laughs> okay then what's your favorite movie of all time favorite movie yeah wow that's a tough one that's always a tough one for me and i don't know why yeah um you gonna be like a sports movie or what you know a movie i really like that probably nobody's ever seen is um there's a, it's a really old like western movie it's called the outlaw josie wales i've <laughs> not seen that yeah it's not probably not my favorite movie but it's one of my it's up there that i think about i have to go look i don't know i'm more of a comedy guy like either i'm there's no in between for me i'm either comedy or like really like scary like i those are my favorite ones. Oh my gosh, what kind of scary are we talking about? Like, I don't know what this says about me as a person, but I'll, I'll put on like a scary movie by myself in my apartment, just watch it and then go to bed. You get like scared or you just like, it's like no big deal? No, I mean like I get scared, but then I just like go to bed. <laughs> so talking about the NFL, going from college to the NFL, what is the, like the biggest adjustment for you? Well, the first thing that you notice initially when you get there, obviously, and everybody always says it is the speed. Yeah. And it's true because, I mean, everybody across the board is fast. Linemen, you know, even the freaking kickers are fast. I mean, it's just everybody's faster. And so that's a, that's the first thing you got to get used to. Other than that, I mean, it's it's football. I mean, maybe there's more complex adjustments and stuff, but it's really about just speed and size. I know that community service is a big part of, you know, the National Football League even, and is there something specific that you did last year, uh, your rookie season, that was just like really cool and something that you enjoyed uh, doing as you gave back? Uh, well, the thing that I appreciate about the Steelers is that they have all their rookies every year do a lot of different community service um, tasks throughout the throughout the uh, season, and so I really like. I have a soft spot for kids. My mom's a kindergarten teacher, and so. Um, visited a lot of children's hospitals and you know the you know got to meet a lot of newborn babies and give them Steeler yeah. stuff and um my cleats last year for the my cause my cleats was the children's cancer fund of uh, new mexico so i kind of have a soft spot for that stuff that's really cool i love that so you just talked about your mom but like name the three most influential people in your life. Like those people that have just like made you who you are, um, giving you that soft spot, maybe, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, uh, I don't know if my parents count for one or two, but um, definitely like my parents. Yeah. Definitely my parents. I mean, my, I think the other one would have to be my grandpa. Um, you know, he was a longtime coach and just like, I just idolized his upbringing and how tough he had it, you know, compared to me and growing up in West Texas and the depression, the Dust Bowl. So, I mean, it, it, that just always kind of amazed me hearing about that and then just kind of comparing that to the life that he basically had given my parents who'd given me. So mm -hmm. probably my parents and my grandpa. That's really cool. And I heard he was a, a high school football coach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a high school football coach for a long time um, here in Albuquerque, and 
yeah, like I said, he grew up in, in West Texas and in uh, unfortunate circumstances. Yeah. Well, that's really cool, that uh, Beauty from Ashes story. I love that. But thanks so much for joining me today and just, like, letting me pick your brain about the NFL and getting to know Zach Gentry, the person. No problem at all. Thanks for having me. It was a good time. For sure. Thanks, Zach.